you set it off though. What's up, motherfuckers? Mm-hmm. What's up, chicken papaya? We had a horrible week last week. Yes. Dust. And then we had a late start to this week, but we're here. It's Thursday morning. It's early. We're going to get this drawn out to you guys. Hopefully today. More than likely today. I'm trying, I'm trying my If you don't best. know, Philadelphia, we've been taking some L's. 95 <laughs> collapsed. <laughs> Yo, and but on a series truck driver, the truck driver, rest in peace to that truck truck driver because uh, he died. Lot, yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. didn't even know that. Yeah, I think his name was damn, so something. Moody. I guess a truck. What happened? The truck caught on fire and it was engulfing the bottom of ninety five, mm-hmm. and that shit collapsed. Like, bro, oh, it's wow. yeah, it's bad. And it's going to take year. I, and the crazy part is they just fixed Cop. Cotman was the exit that yeah. was closed for all those years, and now Cotman is now closed mm-hmm. again. So it's strong. Yeah, that was messed up. But yeah, the whole 95 collapsed. The That's entire wild. section of 95 yeah, yeah. collapsed. But the truck driver did pass, so I don't want to make yeah, too nah. much of a joke about it. But yeah, it, 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 we are we are screwed. I took the boulevard down. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's what I've been doing. So. I gotta start taking Betsy. Something that's why. I, that's why I take when I go to Jersey for uh, for strength and conditioning. So that's we are struggling. We are still struggling. But, with, yeah, <laughs> we got cooked up. We got cooked last week. I don't know why I picked against. Alvera, bro, it was you. It was you. I'm. I'm not doing it anymore. I'm not letting anybody influence Listen, me. Listen, I, I, I am. I, 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 I hang my. I, I, I hang I, my I, head I, low. I, I, I hang my head low today, especially on the the freaking main event, dude. Aldana, I. I just want to. Amanda correct. threw Give her, her resign Ama- papers. Amanda threw her on the ground. At one point, it was just like. Get up. <laughs> <laughs> they was the most pointless uh, single legs I've ever She's seen in my dog. life. Yeah. You see her uh, her belt collection in her house? So dope. She's got yeah. all of her belts, bro. I like yeah. everything about what has happened with her, except uh, she kind of tried to say, like, whatever champ comes after me is going to be a fake champ. Yeah, Basically, saying they never true. bit me, but I was, like, fighting Liz forever. Yeah. There, there, that's like I was talking to, was it John and Simon? And I was like, I get it. Like, John Jones could be Nurmagomedov. I was like... MMA is going to go on for all time. These will not be the last yeah. greatest. Michael Jordan will not be the last greatest NBA player. Like, th- you're going to get more and more evolved fighters who will be like, yo, this is the next. This is the greatest fighter of all time. You, you guys can hear me, right? Yeah. You yes. find, right, yeah. Cool. Yeah. No, nah, I. I well, don't even want to recap. I, yeah, I really, we fucking yeah. lost. Yeah, we I had two wins. You had one win. Oh, oh, we got oh, slapped. Why y'all keep saying y'all? Drake. <laughs> We got slapped. I want because to you're just you're just a fucking. <laughs> that card sucks. <laughs> He's a ride. You're a rider, bro. Like he just goes. Card, no, no, hold on, hold on. Two, two. Okay. What well, nah, underdog nah, did nah, you nah, pick? Nah, 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 nah. Since y'all want to go through it now, I'm, I'm gonna make not go through it. I'm calling y'all. What out. underdog did you nah, pick? Like, card I, I, I'm calling y'all out on two fights. Explain to me why you thought Oliveira was not going to beat Darius. We never Yo, thought that. And first of all, hold on. I have won more than one. Because I oh. picked Zahabi to win. Clear as day, I picked Zahabi. Yes. I picked Mike Malat to win. That's yes. two right he, there. He's good. I like and him. And then I picked um, Imamov. And that shit is a win. Yes. So <laughs> I should have had three. So <laughs> No, I'm serious. I picked Zahabi. I, I literally remember I was talking about Zahabi because it's Frost's brother. I clearly picked him. All right, ready? So I, here, here's the thing. Just to recap the Oliveira. We never said that he couldn't win. It was... We thought it would be a stand-up game and the the wrestling would be neutralized because look at the way it went. Like, Oliveira didn't take him down. Darius was on top, and Darius was winning. He was winning until he wasn't. He, he was on top, not by design, but I'll, when Oliveira goes to a guard, like, he doesn't mind to be down there. I know. Yeah, that. but he was getting... Uh, uh, Benny was punching a hole in that canvas. He, yeah. yeah, he was missing. And it was something I, I never seen that before. He went to his left hook, he shielded on the right, mm-hmm. and it was like really no other opening besides like down there. But yeah, I, Charles, I never Charles, I never thought Oliver could the man. Do you believe that Charles Oliver is the second to is the second best fighter to Islam? Do you give him that respect? I don't even think Islam is better. I think Islam is just stronger than him. That's how I look at Islam. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's obviously Islam, Charles. I think Armin's going to give these boys hell. Armin's sort of being, he's, yeah, on, he's on this card. Okay. For, um, my, my, yeah, my, sure. I guess he's second. He's second. He's second. Second thing I do want to say is congrats to Canada, because I think they swept that card. They did. They, they swept that card. So not, not congratulating them. <laughs> Team USA, dude. <laughs> Yo. Uh, and and uh, and Amanda, whatever. You know what I mean? Amanda did her thing. It was yeah. a... Uh, she did look good. Irene Aldana... Like I said, I know we don't like to shit on fighters, but yeah, she she just I don't know if she got starstruck. 
I, the one time she threw, I actually started to think, I said, oh, my God, Joey's going to fucking do this again. When she threw, she literally almost folded her. And then I've never, I don't know. I don't know, bro. I've never seen, like, that shit had me screaming at the TV. <laughs> like, I, she looked like she was doing the marching man, like the Poetan fucking mm. entrance with her hands here getting jabbed in the face. I'm like, why do you have your fucking hands up if you don't move your head and you can't even parry a jab? Yeah. She kept doing this pointless shadow boxing uppercut. <laughs> yeah, I was so <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I, I literally was screaming at my when, TV. I hate when people do that. Dude, just a point what they just, just to show it? Yeah, I understand yeah, yeah, yeah. shots. I understand no. faint and shoots. No, like when they just shadow box like, oh while you're god. fighting. Yeah, it was good. I I don't want Mike Malai, I did think looked tremendous. Good, M- Mike Malai. Bro, Malott that two piece to that it was nice. He yeah. said yink. Yeah. 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 Yoked him. What it was it was it submission? submission? Yeah, yoked him up high, too. Yeah. High elbow guilty. Eric, Eric, Eric Anders. Mark Andre Barrio, that was a great fight. Eric, like we were just talking, Eric Anders does seem to be getting better despite his loss, but he got that fucking dog in him. And I, and I, I like him, and I wouldn't mind picking him again for sure. Uh, other than that, the Chris Curtis shit, I get blah, blah. Yeah, but yeah. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I did call Jasmine Jazz to Vicious, too. That's you a good did. one. Miranda. That was an underdog. Yeah, what do you think happens with her? Who, Miranda? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's she like, three? Oh and three right now. Is she, she, I think, is she on a three fight lose? I think she won her last one. I think. Yeah. Okay. Maybe zero oh and two. And Blake Builder. Yeah, that was tough. Dude, this dude was tough. Kyle Nelson. Steve Erseg was a Kyle, beast. Kyle, Kyle he got Nelson. performance of the night. I think Kyle dude. Nelson was tough too. He was. He was tough. I, I would. I would definitely keep my eye out on him. And um. I wouldn't. <laughs> What did he do? Come on. What did he do? <laughs> he was tough. I said, I like him. I, I'm just saying I like him. Mm. I like him. I would keep my eye on him. That's all. All right. Not saying like Let's phenomenal get to this fighter. Part. Let's go. Marvin Vittori versus Jared Cannonier. Joey, this is your weight class. You know how we do it. You Set go this first. Mm. I'm going to go with uh, Marvin Vittori mm. because Cannonier mm. does not seem to win the big main event fights. Mm-hmm. He seems to just kind of point fight, doesn't mm-hmm. really go for the kill type deal. Uh, Marvin Vittori's been here. I think he's dumb enough to be uh, better than all of them because he, he takes risks. He goes, he tries to put on a pace. But, uh, I mean, this is the main event. It's five rounds, and I think he's going to do better than Cannonier will. So I think Marvin Vittori by decision. I can see this fight going one of two ways. One, exactly how you just said, or Jared's got big power. Mm-hmm. And I could see uh, Marvin getting him down, getting him down early, but then eventually maybe fading a little bit. Like he was kind of fading against Roman, like when Roman was kind of defending those takedowns. So I could see that playing out. And um, I'm picking Jared. I'm just going gonna, gonna to throw an underdog out there. I'm actually going Marvin as well, man. That's fine. It is. Yeah. The next fight. It doesn't make sense, does it, to you? What's it? This fight? This fight? No sense. I feel like his resume is a Armin, lot more thicker. Armin's like a minus 1,000 right now. Yeah. That's what he was saying. Did somebody pull out? Is this how I feel in there? No, 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 and this guy just, has, I was looking at his t- Well, this. Armin was supposed to fight, um, he was supposed to fight someone good, and then someone pulled out, and then this guy filled in. This guy's good, though. He's been around... Like, for he's minutes. very good, but he's just not on Armin's level. <laughs> nah. With all that being said, Armin by finish. Yeah, it's his, his resume's too thick. And he went like the, he went decision with like Islam. Islam like uh, go if you want to watch a very entertaining grappling, fight, right? go watch that fight. Yeah, scrambling like some motherfucking rats in a bag. <laughs> oh, he went, even fought Gamera. Yeah, it's his resume is like thick, bro. Yeah. Like, his drone is, is is crazy. Um, next one, Joey, it's you, Armin and Duncan. They're middleweights. Uh, well, middle well, Duncan obviously had that real short debut that just, like, I don't know. You didn't get to see much from him. Um, I don't know, man. I, it's two kickboxers. Duncan is a big-ass middleweight, and uh, he seems very calm, very poised. Duncan's got submissions, whatnot. too. I've never seen that side of him yet. But so. he ha- but I'm saying, on, if you go on his record, he has submissions. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Petrosian, man. I think I'm gonna go because he's fought the tougher competition, and mm-hmm. uh, he beat the the Andrew Dobson, I think his name was, and then he beat. Uh, he went against Berhalio. Obviously, Berhalio, I think, is highly up there as far as like Correct, one of the man. top middleweights who's just not shown it yet, mm-hmm. like or at least not been recognized as it yet. But I think he's up there, and then he beat Gregory Rodriguez, who's a big middleweight. So uh, I think Armin's got good enough kickboxing skills to do it. I agree. I am going with Duncan. Mm-hmm. Duncan has, um, he has it on the feet. 
He's got rear naked choke right here. So he's got some he's got some submissions, and um, I just think he's going to be able to mix it up more. I think he'll be able to put him down if he needs to. And he's a slight underdog, and I'm going to dog it up with the dog. On my screen, I got <clears throat> hopefully our lock of the night uh, with Pat. Is that what's on your screen? Pat. Our boy, Pat Sabatini. Sabatini. Pat Sabatini versus Lucas Almeida. I'm not even talking about the other guy. I'm going with our, our, our yeah. guy. Going Pat. with Pat. If you don't know, you should you, sh you should watch some of Pat's fight. Like I said, um, Pat Pat is a very talented, very very talented person. Um, he mentally wants it. <laughs> yeah, and he's ready. To uh, go. Some personal yeah. stuff. Yeah, I've seen him say. training. <laughs> I've, I've, he looks great. This he's camp. been coming off coming off lighting these defeat, dudes up yeah. in the gym. I I think it's the best I've ever seen Pat. He's dialed in. His weight cut is the easiest it's ever been. He's been fucking taking notes from me and the guys at the PI and just asking questions mm -hmm. and. He's just been more dialed in than I've ever seen him, and I'm excited to see him do his thing. Pat's four uh, one in the UFC as well, right? Four one. one yep. Yeah. Pat's, so Pat's killing it. He's going back, back to get back in the win column. Mm -hmm. Next, John Miguel Torres, um, Manuel Torres versus Nicholas Mata. This is a good fucking fight. These guys are going to scrap hard, and I'm not even picking anybody to win. I'm going to pick Mata to win, but I'm picking this fight to end I'm gonna in the first Torres. round. I'm going to pick Torres. I'm going to pick Torres. I'm picking this fight to end in the first round. Uh, First round. I, I was thinking Nicholas Mata. I do not know Manuel Torres. I'm I'm, I, I know Torres is good, but I, I know Nick, and I'm going to pick Nick. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. uh, you. I'm going to go Manuel. Nicholas Dalby versus Muslim Salikov. I am picking Salikov. Nicholas <laughs> Dalby. No way. Yeah. No way. Muslim, a Muslim, like his volume is, he's a really good striker. But his volume is so low, and uh, Nicholas Dalby can put a pace. But he gets he's, rocked. Yeah, but he's tough as shit. I, I think he's the only thing he's ever been knocked out, though. He's only been knocked out, like, maybe Nicholas one time. Nicholas Dalby? Oh, my. He hasn't been knocked out. All right, I'm all the way back to 2019 already, and there's still no knockouts. Now I'm back to 2016. Still no knockouts. How how far we gotta go back? <laughs> how, right, how, go how, how long you wanna do this for? His mom gave him that bottle and how, knocked him out there one time. How, how long you wanna do this for, Joseph? <laughs> go with your boy. Um, what's the next one? Miles John. Ver this is the prelims at this point. If I don't know, you you can hear Ronnie Basellos. I got yeah. Don't pick this is the, this is the new. Don't pick it if you do, like. Cause like I said, I feel like that's what really messes up the uh, the picks. Yeah, yeah. We I will get every pick up until this point. I'll say that's a pick. Okay. Now I'm going to give out advice. <laughs> <laughs> Counseling. I am picking Hani Barcelos in this fight. Hani is he's good. I think he's going to win. Yeah, I agree. I'm also picking like the rest of these fights are kind of not the best. I'm picking. Uh, Jimmy Flick Jimmy versus Flick. Costa. I'm picking Costa. Mm -hmm. Really? Can mm -hmm. you tell me why? Let me uh, look on their thing real quick. Jimmy, uh, so he got knocked out, what, in his... He got finished by Charles Johnson in his last fight. And Charles is good, but he's usually not a, a big finisher. And the guys in Costa... Costa is from Contender? Hold on, let me pull it up real quick. I think... There's so many tapologies and uh he is no but he lost to his only loss in the ufc his, his only fight in the ufc was uh amir Abazi. but he was on the contender series he won on the contender and um he's got a lot of submissions and he's got a couple of knockouts so yeah i'm going with him what you got for that one jimmy flick I'm not taking a pick in that. <laughs> I'm not picking. This is advice. <laughs> this is not a pick. All right. My advice is uh, listen to Sean. This is. I don't like. I don't like those fights. I can't. None like none of these dudes ring a bell. Matter of fact, I've seen this guy before. None of these people I do not go against fucking. Uh, uh, I would take Zach Palga. Against uh, Bukaskas. Mm -hmm. Also, I would take um, Teresa Bleda versus Gabriela Fernandez. I, that's how you say it. 
And then I'm going to take um, Carlos Hernandez versus Denise Bondor. I'm going to take Bondor. And take Christian Quinones. Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I got nothing. Okay. Cards are, bro, the cards, <laughs> yeah. a, lot, a lot of fighters, a lot of people. I've never, and, 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 it's, I, it's, oh, and also take Ronnie Lawrence against Argueta. Mm-hmm. I, think, I, like, I, like, I think his I, pain I like that. That's a That's a pick. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say, bro, for how much MMA we watch, like literally consecutively every week, it's like you would think like you truly know every yeah. fighter. You just don't, bro. Like, But now, moving on from the UFC, we got Bellator's got a good, listen, man, <sighs> UFC ain't the only, ain't the only fucking Mm-mm. show in town. My Bel- man, Yoel Bel- Romero is going Yo- for gold uh, there's as a low head. Yoel. That's my, there's, one of my favorite fighters. Yoel? There's Bellator Savage. and PFL both on Friday. Yeah. Um, you usually do pretty all, well, pretty with, damn well on Bellator with all as well. That, with all that being said about UL, I'm picking Vadim Nemkov. <laughs> what if he does it? Do it? Forty six years old. I hope well Romero. I hope he does do it. That's but, impressive. Numero uno. That's impressive. I love you. <laughs> v- v- Vadim is fucking. He's good, man. He is. Corey had him in that first one, but then he made some big adjustments in the second fight, and he looked really good. I'm hoping. Uh, that's my next pick. I'm picking Corey against Phil Davis. I, Corey gets it done against Phil. That's that's the same. It's tonight. Same, okay, yeah, cool, cool. Same, but tomorrow, I mean, and yeah, then yeah. Um, they can run it back. So that's kind of what I'm hoping happens. Oh yeah. Sergio Pettis is fighting Patricio Pitbull. Patricio has fought at he beat Michael Chandler at 155. He's fought at 145, and now he's at 135. I'm actually going to pick Pitbull to beat Pettis. Yeah, I think that's he's a big dude. He's used to being there, bullying them. Guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, this card's good. So, do you look at a, uh, do you look at Bellator's tier B fighters, or do you not look at it that way? Do you think these guys? No, most of these guys could come to the UFC and hang with. They can hang, right? Johnny Eblen, their one eighty five pound champ, could one hundred percent come in and be a, a champion. Um, Yaroslav Amoslav, who's best friends with our boy Igor, mm-hmm. he's a one seventy pound champ. He could come in and be a be a, a top contender champion at one seventy. These guys are good. They're there's no such thing as tier tier B. Yeah, I don't. It's just I, regional and pros, right? Yeah, yeah, gotcha. I don't, yeah. So you would say even PFL, same thing. There's some really good guys in PFL. Like I, I think so. A lot I don't. Of, I don't think PFL is long running enough to have the same caliber. But yeah, but have if you look at prospects. PFL, so PFL used to be World Series of Fighting, and they've been around. Like that's where Marlon came from. Uh, Marlon just retired. Obviously, he was on a, a bad skid. But like when Marlon came into the UFC. Bro, he knocked out Aljo. He's the last one, of the last people to beat Aljo, and then went on the fight. Henry almost finished Henry. So like, these fucking guys are good. Doesn't matter who you. I know guys who don't have fights at, that that could beat up UFC fighters. I've seen them beat up UFC fighters. So you gotta take that with a grain of salt. Mm. Am I in there? <laughs> uh, and then PFL. I don't really have any picks for that, but it's just going to be just. Hey, I Good beat fight. up some UFC fighters before I got in there. That's a what bunch. I'm saying. I beat up a lot of UFC fighters before I got in there. Oh, dudes is in there right now? It. You've been in UFC yeah. for like eight years now, yeah. How long you been in UFC? Four, five. 2019. 2019. Four years? Mm-hmm. Pandemic hit. Good yeah, the pan- they When I look back sometimes, I'm like, that was a crazy time. Ain't that going to be some shit to talk about? Yeah. Yeah, tell your kids Telling about your it. Tell your kids about it, grandkids. Hell Yeah. It, but then, like they say, like the '90s kids, we're like we lived through like a lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. Even like, yo, we were talking about uh, TSA the other day. Like, you know, you could literally just like you used to be able to walk through the airport. Mm-hmm. You like you could like if you were catching a flight, and I was like, yo, I'm gonna go see you off. Yeah, we could just <laughs> we could just Not walk. Now. We could walk all the way to your gate. I could walk all the way to your flight and wave you goodbye. Nah, no now. TSA be like. Take them belts, take me, them belts me, off, let me, shoes off, all electronics. <laughs> let me let me check that butthole. Bro, they be snapping at uh, I hate TSA. Yeah. Not, I, I love them for what they do, yeah. but when we it's go a, through it. That's probably a stressful ass job. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. That's why I just wear flip flops to the airport. Yeah. And that's it, bro. I don't got nothing in my pocket, man, no change. Screw the no airport nothing. workers. Them motherfuckers treat you like shit. Come on, man. We need we need the airport workers. I don't need I don't fucking need it, them yelling at me and shit. <laughs> Conor McGregor's back. He has news. how long he has like a day or whatever it is. I, knocked I, I just saw the knocked man. out a mascot. <laughs> I love Did you it. see him? Did you see him saying uh he's talking to his one fighter and I guess he had like rib pain and he was like, You just go in and <laughs> He's like, you rip it out and you 
feel it's gone. And I was like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about, bro? That boy on some juicy juice. What, do you, what do you think happened? Oh, well, and now, so... Nothing. Today, today's Thursday, but today's Thursday. If he doesn't submit a drug test, but I mean, they can, bro. Extended. The UFC hires USADA. They can tell them pretty much to do whatever the fuck they want. I personally think, but from what USADA is saying, he has to submit a sample by today, or he cannot fight until twenty twenty four. As far as the mascot, I don't think he's getting in trouble. I don't think. He's, oh, I don't. I, I truly don't give a fuck. If, I don't either. Listen, I'm you, can't, you, can't, you can't. You can't. You can't. Like ask someone. To punch you and then get booty bothered you, if you hit your he head. He accidentally you hit him in the face. Yeah. Yeah. Like. Brothers, you can. It's Conor McGregor. You can. If I would have tripped over Conor McGregor's suit, uh, shoe when I walked past him, I wouldn't have got up. I would have made sure I left in the ambulance. See, we're cut from a different cloth, <laughs> <character. laughs> You can. You honestly can. Uh, you can. <laughs> you can. But you, you don't. Feel, how would you? What? How would I feel? I would That's feel some like, like low-life shit. Though. I would feel like I'm about to be loaded. That's how I would feel. But on the cost of somebody else's fucking hard work? I didn't like his attitude. That's fucked up. See, that's the problem with America. Motherfuckers like you, honestly. You Here were, we so go. If you tripped over... Looking for your clips. Let them go. So if you tripped <laughs> over... Nah, for real. That's some drawing <laughs> ass shit. Let them go. So if Look you tripped up. over... You're, you're telling me you're one of those Karens in the world. You tripped... If you tripped, you would sue. Watch how I end this. Go ahead. Go ahead. How are you going to end it? What, Talking what, about what, money? Money doesn't fucking what, make it right. What did I tell you? What did, what did I tell you when we were talking? I said, yo, if you put your hands on me, though, I'm telling you right now, I'd sue the shit out <laughs> Did I not tell you that? Yeah. Yeah. That's how I get down. Sure would. Why well, fight you? Put, you? put your hands on me. I'd sue. At my expense? You what, got damn what, right. What, what's the, what? I went, oh, Rocky, when he was fighting Tommy Gun, <laughs> touch me and I'll sue. And Rocky drills him and says, sue Listen, me let me tell what? you, Joey. God rest the truck driver. So if I was on 95 and a piece of debris would have hit me. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck, my back, my neck and my back. Oh, I want a hundred and fifty thousand. That's different. <laughs> I'm That's a hundred percent different. Going, I'm going out That's hundred percent different. Oh, but, but like, uh, here we go. But like, now, see, you turned him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's that, no, no, but no, 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 that's no. the cost of the, the taxpayers. That's an environment that's thing. Taxpayers. What do you're, you mean? You're taking our money. Not true. You're taking the taxpayers' money. Joey, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not dead serious, brother. I'm not dead serious. I'm just playing devil. You know I'm not like that. But yeah, I'm just. I don't know that. You did say you were hypothetically, man. I'm just saying the dude is loaded, dog. He's just saying hypothetically. Don't take it too literal. Conor McGregor's Gucci sneak. Please don't. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I know Kurt's saying. Come on, it's, brother. Come I, on. Come I know. on. Come on. Kurt. Kurt. But yes, I did. Kurt works like fucking forty-hour days. I do. To I'm, be a, here I'm a. I'm a. I'm a hard-working blue-collar man. I'm a truck driver, dog. We some of the hardest-working people in the world. I a lot of people ain't cut to be truck drivers. Yeah, you know, my mom's a truck driver. You large Marge in charge, large, baby. Large, large, large Marge. <laughs> large Marge in charge. Yeah. In charge. Yeah. Yeah. Marge don't fuck <laughs> around. Does your mom have red hair? And now she's straight blonde. Okay. Straight I was blonde. Say, a little that, short, fat. I was going to say that'd be a large Marge. Hell yeah. yeah now she yeah. fat. <laughs> <laughs> she is thick. Are you even allowed to say the word fat anymore? Yo, no. but ain't that crazy how we... I fucking we, how hate we, this country. <laughs> yo, you can't... You really can't say anything. Bro. Uh, you can't say crazy. anything. And you know, you think back of that clip of just... Just like Joe Rogan joint when, when he was like, or black guys such and such, yeah, white guy. Yeah, yeah. Listen, it, the it only reason we can't, years. but the only reason we can't say shit anymore is because of social media. Because yeah. everybody's fucking. But you know what though? But you know what though? Matters. You can say because what are you gonna do? Yeah. Are you gonna you're gonna cancel? Cool. So a lot of motherfuckers don't give a fuck. So I can't scroll through Instagram. Yeah, wow. yeah. A lot of people don't care, you know, bro. But it's, um, it's the so world is it's too sensitive, bro. These kids, these poor fucking kids who are getting ready to grow up, it's gonna be n insane. It makes me not want to have children because of the world that they're going to be raised in. Bro, like, did I, Manny put that in the group chat? I'm not going to say what it was, but like, did Manny put that in the group chat? I don't know. Uh, that, um, don't say it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, We're talking about not getting canceled. Don't get canceled. <laughs> I don't know. No, but but just it's, about not having kids. Yeah, it's scary. But oh, so the best I seen. So this person who was overweight. I'm not going to call him fat. They were overweight. They were putting their kid into their car. The guy I tripped. Saw that. It was a the woman. kid starts to roll into the fucking street. The she lady is so she big, recover. she couldn't get up to go and get the car. 
I think the video said this is you, this you, is why your kids you deserve are, to be. You are healthy. putting your children at health and other people at health by being out of shape. What if I'm not bitch saying tripped you had, and fell on the kid, bro? No, she was tripping and falling. She couldn't. The kid was rolling into the fucking street, mm. into into like the boulevard or some shit. The kid was about to be frogger, mm. and she could. She got up, tripped, got up, tripped, couldn't get up. I'm like, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> That's funny. I yo, I had I had so much anxiety watching this lady just roll around on the ground. It's sad because she was trying her, her. best. But, <laughs> but her you know what? Me. Maybe I would change her life though. Cause like I'm not like I said, I'm not saying you have to run fucking miles, but like have some self-accountability. Fucking take care of yourself. Yeah. Like do something for yourself. Stop fucking but, but put look, down the fucking Oreos, <laughs> put down the fucking Cheetos. And you, go fucking walk around you the just block where you're dog me on this podcast. Right? <laughs> look, at, look, at, look at look at look at look at the uh, look at the world that we're being like molded by though. Everything is processed. Everything's sugar. Everything's fake. Everything's everything's, everything's faster. Everyone yeah. wants to. People don't even go to the grocery <laughs> stores anymore. They just have them delivered to them because they don't want to leave their house. But do, you, but do you think that is? Do you think we are eating for our buzz or are we eating off convenience? Pe- no, no. People are just people are eating just com- to eat. Com- Convenience. It's fun. People are bored. They don't have anything else to do. They shove a fuck. I, listen, I ain't saying I don't like fucking Oreos. Yeah. Like, don't get me wrong. I could throw down Oreos with the best of I them. Will. But I also <sighs> know that what that's going to do to me and make me feel like a piece of shit. the last time you had a fucking Oreo? While. While. <laughs> It's been a while. Bro, this motherfucker would eat an Oreo right now and be sprinting down the AC. It'd be fucking... It's been, it's been, I feel like when you see snacks, you do shit like this. Like. It's been a minute. I bet you want me to eat you, don't you? <laughs> when, when I'm like, when I'm like, uh, like fight week, I'll like, I'll be yo, like, just let me watch you eat. I'll be looking at Kristen. yo, you do yo, say what that. Is Jeffrey Dahmer. I'll be like, yo, let me just watch. Sit you. down. I'll be like, let me. We're gonna watch you eat. Even like it, at breakfast, like like when fight week, I'll just, I'll just be watching everybody eat like pancakes and shit, just like. That's tough. This That's motherfucker was making. Remember, he kept saying something about me. Fucking I was like, yo, French Joe. Toast? I was like, Joe, go get a donut. Go, go oh, yeah. I was like, hey, Joe, sure. I'm like, everything I want. I'm like, yo, Joe, go get that. Go get that. You know what I have? You know what I do sometimes? I'll buy candy and then not eat it. For what? Just to buy it? Because then it kills. Yeah, I don't know why. If I buy it, I feel like I had it, but I, didn't, I don't have to eat it. I know what you're saying. I don't know why. I'm fucking. But what? anyway, back to these motherfuckers. Get yourself in shape, people. <laughs> fucking. I, I ain't saying you got to be a fucking prize. But and you, but even this message, people take this as if as if it's like oh, shaming. Yeah. It's, yeah. Not, it's like, not like shaming. I care about this to st- the health and society. Even like I said, if you go back and look at physical education in the seventies and six, like it gym makes you was feel good. Physical gym, it you makes have to you pull up. Mi- you you have yeah. to run miles. Like people were actually fit at some point in America for your mental health, your physical health. Like you need to do some side. Of, I'm not saying go walk. You have to do some so, like some kind of exercise. Like you have to do something. It's going to make you feel better. And once you start to see changes, you're going to want to continue to go. But, this is true. But people, don't I try. Really, I try. People, I would tell you about this bike ride I took with these guys. No, and that shit was a light jammy. <laughs> but I took these motherfuckers. He, these motherfuckers thought we were going around the block. I'm going to post a picture of my bike. It was in a this light ass like 20 mile ride. 20 ain't shit. 20 is not. Bro, 20, and, on the but bike. they were. Listen, brother. Hurting. I took my bike home after that bike ride. That shit's never. It has never. That moved shit. Again. That shit's got cobwebs. It's on a it. Marlin Five Trek. It's, it was like a. It's like a 500 dollar bike. It was like cobwebs right. on that shit. Done. Hasn't. I put it up. I'm, I'm retired, baby. That's it. 20 miles. Yeah, I but thought you we did it. Kurt, it, was, it Kurt was, used to be jacked up. It was back independent. In the day. I did. Kurt, yeah, I was a crush. Well, I knew Kurt he's strong. He's got four kids though, so he's like, what fuck. a waste. And now. you know that's not. I, I, I don't know. I don't know it's if it's an excuse, excuse or not. It's, it's not. not. You, it's you not. could be. I could be doing something. I'm just. I'm just not. But I but will say. But you're also a truck driver, and you're also that. And I'm. Yeah, bro. Like, look, we concerned for your health. Even most people, like, like construction workers, like, bro, they're doing hard labor every day. But I'm saying, like, most of these people now, they just sit behind their phone or their laptops. They don't even have to do anything. They order Uber Eats. Mm-hmm. They get their fucking groceries delivered. They don't walk their fuck. Motherfuckers own dogs and don't walk their dogs. Mm-hmm. That shit is crazy, bro. Crazy yeah. to you? Just put those little puppy mats down. But you then ever look, get tired of walking your dog? No, because I love the joy of watching my dog. Like fun though. My dog loves me. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> brings me pure joy, and that's something I do too. When I can't eat, I be overfeeding the shit out of me. <laughs> I be giving him mad steak. I'm like, here you go, boy. Ba ba ba. <laughs> But uh, 
Nah, yeah, like that's crazy to me. Like people have dogs and don't walk their dogs. Yeah. Like you're people. People get these. You dogs. were just shitting on me on this podcast. No. <laughs> you don't walk your dog, but your dog ain't a dog. That's not a dog. That's not a dog. I'm talking about. I'm thing. talking about like dogs who need exercise. exercise I don't yeah. like. That's a cat. What? What do you? That's got? a glorified cat. <laughs> don't. What? What you got? <laughs> hold on one second. Let me handle this. What kind of rug? Can you let me hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't like disrespect dog? me on the like air. That's not, that, that, that ain't a dog. Mine? It's Don't, not a dog. What you got? I got a little Frenchie. That shit ain't a dog. Baby bags. They're dog. not a dog. Bro. I yeah. got a little cockapoo, man. Uh, <laughs> wait, the hairy fucking things? I, hold on, hold on. Let me deal with I, him real quick. I, <laughs> Don't I disrespect hate, my dog, man. I hate them dogs. <laughs> Them, their hair be all dirty in their face. <laughs> Wait, so are they? They're hairy. Things. Yeah, bro, I fucking hate those it, little hairy long, oh, like them Yorkies and Shih Tzus. Peta, Peta's coming for you, no, Joey. <laughs> Fuck both of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> did you watch that clip I sent you from Django? I know y'all can't talk about. But talking, did you watch that clip I sent you when we was trying to get the Airbnb shits figured out? Nah, bro, nah. look at my boy, dog. Yeah, uh, but like you physically can't walk him around the block because he'll be he'll like, be he'll be a he, he <laughs> They actually got bad bad uh he bad, be, yeah bad, motherfucker be yeah, yeah he'd be like when he uh, uh gotta he put him inside sometimes because like he'll get over he don't know how to like calm down yeah. so he'll be like, <laughs> like they'll die from heart attacks bro <laughs> like it's funny because he'll look at you and he can't he'll be like, yo help me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I feel like you can't talk about nothing yo, that's like dog shit. That shit, like, the sad videos with dogs online, that shit makes me cry, bro. I watched this video this other day. This dude abandoned his dog. He gets out of his car. He has his dog on the leash. He takes the leash off. He gets back in his car, starts to drive away. The dog is yelping, trying to chase him in the car because he's like, yo, like, where are you going? And this dude just drives off. I'd, I'd, I'd do horrible things to that It's sad person. because the SPCA is free. It's a free. I'm not saying if you need to get rid of your me, dog, there me, are plenty of people that would. We're gonna adopt um, another Malinois. Like a couple months ago, we went to the SPCA. Bro, that place is sad as it is. Fuck. Bro. And they got them on like a timer, so These like you only got like a little bit of time to get adopted. Fucking dogs, bro. Because yeah. mm. but people get dogs when they're puppies. Forget they dogs grow. start to grow up. They don't want that shit anymore, and they give her their dogs, bro. That shit is Bro, hard. I couldn't wait for little bags to get older because that motherfucker was pissing everywhere. Mm. They're so hard, they don't listen. Mm. Seriously? I'm like, stop! He'd be like, ha, ha, ha. like, he don't listen. <laughs> he just straight. Dog imitation. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, anything else, boys? I don't know. It wasn't much in, in, in MMA news. And like I said, we got consecutive back-to-back-to-back to back to back shows. Pat, so. Pat's a fucking... Pat's That's a lot. A lot. That's a lot. Pat Sabatini is, is the uh, lock of the night, man. Um, We're going to try to get our next episode out early next week. We'll be in here on Sunday. We'll try to get it out for you guys. What about your your fight week? Are we going to try and get that episode out, your fight week? We can do Sunday. On that Sunday, right? We can do Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sunday. You going out Vegas? Hell yeah, I'm going out. Well, I mean, are you Sean, going out Vegas? Sean never said, "Hey, you want to go?" So I'm. I've no. literally asked you like nine times. I said I was going. to... Wait, did you? Yeah. When? I, I've asked you like I asked you the other day. I asked he he, he asked if I was going. He didn't say, "Hey, like." I've literally no. Come? I've literally asked you like nine times. I'm gone. You're I'm gone. definitely gone. One last thing. I think I'm gonna do something for what. Oh, the, the, go ahead. Finish with Team All Max right here, dog. No, I was just saying the reason this episode is out a little later. But how, how's your post surgery? Oh. Yeah, uh, it's good. Uh, I, it, it was all like bone, so it wasn't anything like ligament or tendon or muscle or anything like that. So I don't have to, it's not a terribly long mm-hmm. recovery. It's just the bones like real sore. They had to cut a piece of the bone off, um, shave down the other shit. Um, but yeah, it's good. I'm just waiting for this incision to like fully heal so I can start sweating because I'm not out to sweat yet. So it's been a little bit annoying, but all is good. September, October, November area. I would say yeah, right. That's that's healthy. I heard they're coming to Atlantic City in December. Really? Mm-hmm. Well, then maybe I can get two in. Do, not to go back into the show, but do you guys look like that wouldn't bother you? You don't care to fight in Vegas. Doesn't matter where you fight. I'd rather fight. Here. I just want to stay in the states. That's all. As long as you're in the states, you want to get Canada if you could have got on that Canada card. Nah, it's really not. They're great. fucking. I would, I would. I would like to be on that Utah card Utah? at some point. I think that's cool. I would love to see just Barclay. I would love it if we had a Barclay show. I feel like we would pack Barclay? that. Barclay? New York? Yeah. We would oh, pack no. that shit. Bro, I'm so glad we didn't fight there. That's where mine was supposed to be. Bro, I'm just saying that's an easy travel for, yeah. for, for I like the city. Florida. I like Florida. I like Texas. Florida was good. Mm-hmm. I liked it. I like Florida, Texas. Yeah. I got Casaya right. Center. I got to pee. <laughs> All right. Wrap Peace. it up. Wrap it up, Felix. Yo, sign up for Steady Picks. 
or if Joey Piper's gonna get slapped in the face. Peace. <laughs> I already smacked myself in the face of this fucking head for